Thank you. <laughs> no! No! Find him! What's the game doing? Character game customization when you put their eyes distance to max. This poor woman will never beat the wide eyes allegations. One edit on Twitter has completely changed her acting career. People will always know her as the wide eyes mermaid and there's no way that that's going to change. All right, that's too funny. I can't forget that. Buddy, you gotta move on, bro. This is getting pathetic. I'm not your buddy. Really? Well, thank God for the small blessings. To be honest, there's not enough context here. I wonder what he needs to move on from and what would encourage this guy to be overwhelmingly aggressive in this comment section for no reason. Like, imagine trying to flex or be intimidating in a Reddit, you know, <laughs> text thread. Like, do you not have a job? Do you not have time for anything else? Ooh, that's a serious issue. Uh, you never visited these before? I doubt it, because your recommendations are based on your previous searches and clicks. So, yeah, it's kind of obvious that this dude is uh, either just, you know, trolling or trying to compensate for something. Because Reddit is really, really good at recommending new subreddits for you. It's almost kind of scary how much they know what your interests are. And it's pretty obvious here that Homeboy is interested in dude butt, so... <laughs> Yo, T. Higgins' mom is a dog. No way. Incomplete. T. can't catch a ball to save his life. And your fat ass can't catch your breath, so don't talk about my son. Oh my god, can't catch your breath? Hearing something like that, let alone reading it on Twitter, would absolutely destroy everything about me, man. How are you not in the gym after that? How do you not have the craziest body transformation? This could be your present. Wow, that's so great. That's so wonderful. Like, I, I don't want to come off as, like, you know, ungrateful, but... Like, can I exchange this for store credit? Don't make me tap the sign. Okay, the Dunning-Kruger effect. Explained and visualized. What does that have to do with zoophilia? Via you posting this picture here proves that not only do you not understand the Dunning-Kruger effect, but you yourself fall under it. You are so ignorant to your viewpoint being right that you are completely blind to logic, reasoning, and the law. Yeah, I can believe that. I can believe that someone who's a zoophile is 100% immune to logic, reasoning, and understanding the law. Their delusion protects them from any sort of guilt. God forbid these freaks and degenerates actually realize what they're doing to their pets, cause maybe, just maybe, that deplorable realization might encourage them to choke on a f***ing 12 gauge. Come on guys, is there any scientific evidence for gravity today? Hey yo, James, I have a question. I have one question for you. How many points of contact are you making with your mom's basement floor right now? We all need to know what that number is, cause maybe this basement dweller is just downstairs floating. Him and every other object in his unwashed bedroom is completely unattached to the ground. Everything in his reality violates the laws of physics. Girls who like to be choked and hit during s also the ones who cry when you yell at them. Yeah, they like to be <laughs> dominated, not verbally abused. There's a difference, son. This guy really went out of his way to expose that he lays down with nobody, all right? He is piping no souls. Because anyone who's ever been intimate with anybody understands the differences between fantasy and reality. Just because she wants you to grab her throat does not mean that she isn't sensitive to mean words. She still wants a boyfriend. She still wants somebody to be nice to her. In the West, hashtag women's dignity is being shattered more and more every day. All of the things that destroy the family are increasing by the day in the West. Yo, those are some solid observations, but just to keep it a buck, the Iranian regime protects the dignity of women by having religious police beat and torture them to death like Masha Ahamini. Yeah, so we're not saying that you can't talk about, you know, some problems in the United States, but maybe you should clean up your yard, you know? <laughs> maybe you should focus on your side of the road, all right? Florida Trooper had <laughs> with a 14-year-old girl in the back of his car, authorities say. So let me get this straight. An officer <laughs> a minor in a state vehicle. 
that's what happened. You should probably say that instead of saying whatever the f this is. And it truly makes you think why titles like this are made. Who is this meant for? Who is that supposed to trick? Because everyone who's reading that article knows exactly what you're talking about. They know exactly what deplorable act was done. And you know for a fact it's not about self-censorship. They're not afraid of having the tweet just die in the algorithm, right? You're a news organization. You're allowed to talk about awful things. So no, it's not that either. So what is it, hmm? It really makes you think. Why would they say it like this? Why is this the way that they want to portray things? Officers kill a man with no active warrants at the wrong house. What? That is a maliciously misleading headline. A man with no active warrants is an innocent man. You shot the wrong guy. Again with this weird editorial choice to make these titles so misleading. When people read them, they know exactly what you're talking about. A man with no active warrants? That's 90% of people. Most people don't have active warrants. Those people are innocent. They're regular people. You shot the wrong guy. Why are you as a man saying that you're tired? Men used to die in a war and now they're tired? That's a great question, but I don't know why you're asking it. Why are you as a woman questioning me? Women used to get slapped for talking too much. Oof, she didn't know that she was talking to Sean Connery. <laughs> That's crazy. And for those who don't understand what I mean by that, search up Sean Connery 1975 interview about domestic violence. You will be so surprised what James Bond has to say about that. Selena Gomez is back on Instagram, 18 hours after announcing a social media break. Ayo, if I'm never flying Ryanair again was a person. 18 hours is actually pretty pathetic. Most celebrities who do a social media break usually do it for 48 hours, maybe even a week if they're real serious about it. 18 hours, man? Woo! That's some serious addiction. Absolutely zero beautiful women see your anime t-shirt and cowboy boots or dirty sneakers and think, wow, that's so sexy. Look at yourself. You're a nerd. You've got no girls, no money, and you've got no swagger. And you surely have no idea how to dress yourself. <laughs> Whoa, that's a serious tweet, David. Thanks for sharing. Um, I hear you. Uh, I'm seeing what you wrote. But before I take any of your statements seriously, I've got one question to ask you. Just one. Have you ever met a woman that didn't immediately cover her drink when you walked into the room? Simple yes or no question, you know? Real easy, no pressure. You shouldn't have a hard time answering this. It's sad to see, instead of boys accepting a woman's better than them in a video game, they have to perpetuate the idea that they cheated in order to sleep at night. It's a hard reality to accept your dog shit. Nadia, Nadia, why are you telling lies? Making it about gender is pathetic. You cheated your way into popularity and got exposed at LAN. The only reason why you've got a following is because of your gender. So using it as if it was a crutch to you is wild. I know players 10 times better than you that will never get any traction because they can't rely on lonely men for a following. Not only does Nadia cheat on Warzone, she also sets up her own jobber matches where she would go out of her way to pay somebody to be terrible at the game so that she could get good clips on TikTok. This was exposed like last year, I want to say between June or July, where tons of people, even including her fans, noticed that the same people that she was killing game after game after game had similar usernames. I worked my way up by the 10th year at CNN to get a fee of $150,000. By the way, just a point of reference, Anderson Cooper regularly bragged for years that his annual contract at CNN was $10 million a year. Whoa, that's crazy. You worked for 10 years only to get a fee of $150,000 when someone who was working similar or even more time was getting paid so much more money? That sounds incredibly unfair, which disappoints me because you're absolutely lying. You were paid for one night. Cooper's salary is for one year. You actually get paid more than him per telecast. Like seriously, Kathy, stop. Your tweet perpetuates the false and damaging stereotype that math is harder for women. This clip blew up on Twitter. Basically, this kick streamer was gambling on kick.com, like everybody does. And during the blackjack game, he decided to antagonize the dealer. And the whole encounter is incredibly ridiculous. <laughs> Ain't talking about me. Getting fired. Who getting fired? <laughs> Yo! All bets is closed. Yeah, right. It's your Let last see. day, Go buddy. Dealer show one of seven. That's why I got two jobs. If it even was. <laughs> you up four in the morning playing blackjack. Fucking loser. <laughs> Why are you trying to bug with me?
Ugh, one star. Crooks like every other pawn shop in Rock Hill offered me $40 for a brand new vacuum that is $500 in stores. Looked around and they had an older model that they were selling for $400. Save yourself time and aggravation and go somewhere else. Travis, come on, you know this isn't true. Your vacuum was used in the box. The one you said we had out for sale was new in a sealed box, and it was only priced at $199. Also, you and the young man you came in with acted like a couple of tweakers. We were worried that the vacuum might be stolen, so we didn't want to put a lot of money in as it might get picked up by the police. Sorry you got butthurt. Look, I understand that this response is supposed to be polite and factual, but like, come on man, let's be real here. They didn't act like tweakers. They were tweakers. The dude you were speaking to was named Travis, man. Like seriously, about 60 to 70% of I Love Meth membership cards have that name. Magic Mike grossed $160 million. If you still think girls like dad bods, keep dreaming, pal. Look, bro. I don't believe your claim, okay? Just a heads up, Shrek grossed $484 million. So it's obvious that women actually really like ogres who are six feet tall and unwashed. Parents of Reddit, why don't you close the door when you're leaving our rooms? You know, if we're being honest here, you know, straight up. It's because saying, son, your room stinks of the month old <coughs> socks that are clearly stuffed down the side of the bed and you need to let some fresh air in here because I'm genuinely worried at this point that breathing the air in that is currently in here technically counts as me swallowing your money shot. It's just going to embarrass us both. You see, I really don't want to say that. You know, I don't want to give my kid a complex, so I just leave the door open. Jonah Hill slips back into his wetsuit for surf day in Malibu before showing off his tattoos while going shirtless to towel himself off. You know, I don't think I ever took my shirt off in a pool until I was in my mid-30s, even in front of my family and friends. Probably would have happened sooner if my childhood insecurities weren't exacerbated by years of public mockery about my body by press and interviewers. So the idea that the media tries to play me by stalking me while surfing and printing photos like this and having it not phase me anymore is dope. I'm 37 and finally love and accept myself. This isn't a good for me post and it's definitely not a feel bad for me post. It's for the kids who don't take their shirt off at the pool. Have fun. You're wonderful and awesome and perfect. All my love. What's up everybody, it's your boy Ailerus aka Panda Daddy, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, let me know in the comments down below and leave a like if you like the video. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe fam. What you doing watching videos and not subscribing? And if you're old, make sure you hit that bell so you get these notifications every time. This week is chock full of channel favorites. I hope you're ready to be entertained. I will be uploading Monday, Wednesday, and Friday of this week, so keep an eye out for that notification. Make sure to hit that bell if you really want to make sure to get the video on time. And as always, I gotta thank the Patreon supporters that make content like this possible a big thank you to traffic racer 124 ysg inferno fisherman Tariq, the blurred star mr sandman mike sleepy dragon power lover loving tate tron destroy 23 code connor purvis s16 my golden experience james tucker bmx 30 cinnamon sticks scott the fake musician samantha bellhart admin fanneker bloody hunter keely dundernass hot swiss patreon user and noah thank you so much for your support it is greatly appreciated and if you want to help support the channel there's two links in the description one of my merch store and one of my patreon both funds go directly into the channel so you can maintain what's happening here and as always stay zesty